Hey, hey, everybody, this is Warp Jester, and today I want to do a quick little video. Actually, uh, we're actually giving a little little pseudo prank slash love to a couple of new guys that are on our server, the TBA Gaming Server. A uh, couple of guys that joined us by the name of uh, Cranky and Rurik. Uh, both have joined the channel to uh, play Feed the Beast with us and do some recording. Uh, if you haven't checked out their channels yet, just hit up YouTube and look up uh, Cranky and uh, Rurik. They have their own channels you can check out there. There's their names if you want to look them up. Uh, so today we've got uh, Turgo here helping me out. Hello. And Bunny Fufu is going to be stopped by in just a few here to uh, yes. give us an extra hand. We're going to go ahead and build up a little castle here for uh, Cranky. His first video, he got plagued by creeper issues, so we're going to go ahead and kindly help him out of the kindness of our heart and make sure that uh, he doesn't have that kind of an issue happen again. I don't want to be too mean to him, but uh, yeah, I kind of do. So let's go ahead and we're going to make a little castle here, and I'm going to make a uh, nice little turret in the corner for him. Uh, where's my bars? Gotta make sure it's properly fortified, of course. Where's his house again, dude? Um, from the warehouse. Uh, it's gonna be southeast, and he is parked at uh, 950 by 600. So you head southeast and just kind of skirt the water from uh, Newtown. Uh, you'll run across this eventually. He's right on the bare edge of the uh, redwoods. Okay, here. This is one of those times where you just gotta have a little fun with people, and uh, I really haven't had the chance on our new server to give any love to anyone. On the last server we had, uh, I like to screw with Eagle a little bit. Uh, Eagle Forever is the uh, server admin slash uh, head of our uh, division, being the Minecraft group. And uh, really cool guy, real fun to play with. Uh, so I built a couple couple of nights, I can really call it prank per se, but uh, built him a uh, tire swing in his front yard for his kids. Little things like that. You know, I need wood. Uh, just some regular regular old wood here. If you're going to do a job, do it right. <clears throat> yeah, I actually... I have not had the opportunity to actually uh, uh, do a proper video yet. I've done a couple of uh, little how-tos and tips when it comes to uh, making a couple of things like the archery targets um, and a couple of quick tips on charging stations and whatnot. Uh, you can check this out in the channel I have here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, my myself, uh, I am kind of a tried and true gamer. I uh, have played many things through the years. My first computer was back in 98, 99-ish. And it was a powerhouse PC, a hand-me-down from my friends. Uh, it was a Celeron 450 with, uh, I think I started out with uh, 16 megabytes of RAM and then later got bumped up to a whoopin' uh, 64 megabytes of RAM. Uh, common games played back then were Okay, so you are Unreal doing Tournament. the level with the top, huh? Yes, I am. Alright. Where was Given... that thousand on what? <laughs> it is uh, 950 by 600. Okay, I was way off then. I was off by 300. It's okay. You'll find your way. Give me a second here, guys. I'm actually uh, giving the audience a little back history on myself. Uh, I'll let you guys know. As I was telling them, my uh, first computer was a, a whooping computer. I had a Celeron 450 with... Uh, started out with uh, 16 megabytes of RAM and then bumped up later to uh, uh, a whooping uh, 64 megabytes of RAM. So I started out with that, started playing uh, uh, Unreal Tournament and uh, Diablo, the first Diablo, the very first Diablo. I actually played that on a friend's computer. This is back when I didn't know much about computers. I knew enough to turn the things on and I knew how to double click the little icon to get the game I wanted to play. 
and that was about as much as I knew. And uh, back then, my friends were all IT people and very unknowledgeable of their cars, so it was a kind of a work exchange. I'd do oil changes and repair their cars, and they'd give me a little time on their PCs. And uh, that worked out for a while, and then some of them started getting annoyed at me being on their PCs so often. So one of them one day walked out with a cardboard box full of uh, parts, dropped in front of me and said, there's your PC, and walked off. And I kind of stared at the cardboard box with my other friend and said, yeah, you're going to help me build this, right? And he kind of looked at me and goes, yeah, you'll figure it out. <laughs> so that was my uh, introduction to how to work on computers. And uh, from there, uh, started you know, building up grain PCs a bit. Uh, got into EverQuest, the original EverQuest, and played that for quite a long time, from about 2001 to about 2004-ish, uh, give or take. Uh, met my wife, had this brilliant idea when we were dating that I would go ahead and get her hooked on mine or uh, hooked on EverQuest. I figured, hey, you know, if I get her hooked on EverQuest, she can't complain when all I do is play EverQuest all day. Uh, gentlemen, great idea, poor execution, because at first she was fine with having my hand-me-downs for computers, and then one faithful day I decided to uh, get into PC upgrade. We're going. To, my wife was pregnant, we we're going to have our first kid. And I said, well, if we're going to have a kid, I want one last hurrah, and that hurrah is going to be a new gaming computer. And she decided that hand-me-downs were no longer good enough for her, and she demanded that she also get a in your channel, upgraded uh, computer. <laughs> so I ended up building uh, twin PCs for us, uh, and uh, those ran us for actually for quite a while, as a matter of fact. I ran, uh, I think it was an AMD 1.2 gigahertz with a uh, NVIDIA 60, I want to say 6500 video card in it, and about, oh, I don't know, four, maybe four gigs of RAM if I was lucky. Um, and so that was our, that was our gaming rig for quite a few years. And then, uh, just, just this year, about, uh, oh gosh, four months ago, um, going to be, found out we're going to have uh, my third third child and decided that was well overdue for a gaming rig and my wife was kind enough to <laughs> placate me and uh, went ahead and gave me a budget of about uh, $1,200, $1,500 or about, about, I think about $1,500 total. So I went ahead and built myself a brand new rig here, so that's what I'm running on now. Now a uh, oh gosh, I don't remember anymore. Uh, User it, entered your channel. I believe it's something like a uh, Three point, three point six quad core. It's a i7 uh, quad core with uh, 16 gigs of RAM and a ATI. Uh, good lord, 7,000 series video card. So uh, that's what I'm running with now. So that's that's kind of where my evolution has gone with uh, with uh, games and uh, PCs here. Um, I been very partial to first person shooters. I do like uh, games like World of Tanks. Um, I fully endorse and embrace the aspects of uh, the modern culture of having kind of free to play games with uh, the ability to get upgrades uh, to stuff. I've played EverQuest 2 for a little while. That is actually a pretty, pretty darn fun game actually. Um, when it first came out it was still a EverQuest 1 hardcore enthusiast, uh, so I didn't really pay much attention, then years later I uh, finally got into it, so uh, I feel like taking a break from Minecraft, which is rare, I'll be honest. Um, I will play EverQuest 2 a little bit, and that's kind of my my uh, saving grace for alternative stuff. Um, just kind of keep things changed up, I guess. Uh, I need to get back into World of Tanks. Bunny here is a big uh, World of Tanks fan, and supposedly if I'm able to believe oh, him. Oh, yes. He's uh, pretty damn good at it, but he's got some pretty spanking stuff. I might have like a tier three tank, so um, that's that's about it for that. Uh, let's see here. Looking good, guys. All right, so we need to head back, and we need to get the 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 final touches here done. Um, we got uh, a little some staff to put in these turrets here, so we're going to go ahead and get those. I'm going to go ahead and 
I'll leave you guys here, and we will be right back. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. All right, guys, and we're back. Uh, just uh, putting a few little finishing touches here. Uh, we got everything set in place. We actually got uh, some hired staff to help keep uh, Cranky uh, all kinds of protected here. Uh, if you haven't uh, watched the videos yet, again, uh, make sure you go check out uh, Cranky and uh, Rook's uh, videos. Uh, Cranky had uh, some complications with uh, uh, creepers. So we're going to do him a favor here. and We're going to make a nice fortified uh, place for him with staff to monitor just to keep things safe. Just want to add a little, little bit of a uh, turret action here. Or these, uh, uh, what, 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 do they, what do they call these things at the top of uh, top of castles? I can never remember. I have no idea. Let's take a look I don't again. Know. There's some there's some special name for it. Do you now? The question of the day is: Do you guys know why they did this at the top of castles? For looks, <laughs> yes, they they were very very fashion uh, conscious back then. Uh, if I if I remember correctly, I'm sure YouTube will rip me apart on this one, but I believe it was actually uh, for the archers. It actually, gave them extra protection. When you had these things up around you, you could hide behind them and uh, be pretty comfortable and not having uh, uh, any issues with you know, getting shot from the side, so to speak. Okay, let's go ahead and get a little look, a little look, see here. I said just a modest little, uh, little welcome to the server. Don't want to do anything mean to him just yet. So we'll get to know the guys a little bit, and of course, uh, as with all pranks of any sort, be it good or bad, we got this little, uh, little greeting card here for them. Dear CNR, saw your first video and the issues you had with creepers and wanted to help. We have constructed a impenetrable compound and hired a crack team of security staff to guard you. Disclaimer, do not let the staff out for meal breaks. Highly advised. Welcome to the server. Regards, Jester, Turgo, and Bunny. So, there you go, Cranky and Rurika. Love having you guys on the server. Welcome to TBA. Uh, as for anybody else, uh, appreciate you taking time to watch the video here. Uh, TBA server is a whitelist server. We actually are accepting new people here. Uh, so please feel free to hit uh, tbagaming.com. You can click on the uh, forums and go into Minecraft. And there is actually a, uh, a form there you can jump into to apply uh, to get whitelisted on the server if you like. Um, we are, of course, uh, you know, a little selective. want to make sure that you're going to be a a competent Joe, if you will, so that you don't uh, wreak havoc and cause issues. Nobody likes it. It's not uh, anything I want to deal with. Um, but uh, please do hop in. Uh, also, we do have a uh, TeamSpeak channel, and we certainly do encourage that you hop on TeamSpeak and have a chat with us. That is <clears throat> probably easily the fastest way to get yourself fast-tracked into being on the server here. Um, get a chance to talk to people on TeamSpeak is a great way to get to know them and kind of get a feel for who they are and, and, and so on. So, uh, again, uh, tbagaming.com if you want to apply. Uh, thank you, Turgo. Thank you, Bunny, for coming over and helping out with this. Um, hope you like it, guys. Have a good one.